Okay, so we can't talk about this charity event without talking about the amazing Kevin Smith. Um, to this day, I think one of the one of the heartthrobs for all of us, um, no matter what your orientation is, um, sure. but also just a really really nice guy. Um, so I see you've got some stuff here with Kevin. You got a picture and all of that. What's your favorite memory of Kevin Smith? Oh, Kevin was my hero, uh, truly. The week that I started was incredibly intense. It was an episode focused entirely on my character. And it was also when Lucy was just barely post-pregnancy and, you know, still breastfeeding and still just trying to, you know, figure out how to <laughs> juggle everything because it's just so intense at that stage. And so most of my scenes, almost every scene I had was with Kevin and he helped me Oh my God. In so many ways. I mean, Kevin is hilarious, kind, gentle soul, soul, but he was so funny and he just wouldn't let me take anything too seriously. And he would say stories just at the right moment where as your nerves were starting to come up, you would just laugh out loud and be like, thank you, man. You got me like that was good. And, you know, it was absurd because you know, I was brand new in the country. It was my my first big trip like that. I was utterly jet lagged. My costume was falling apart constantly. It was just, you know, sort of snafu after snafu that we were managing and getting our way through. But Kevin was just like, you know, just a rock that was so kind and so gentle and just such a Kiwi, man. He was just so... um You know, he's this handsome, kind of regal, super charismatic dude who was so nice and so down to earth and so just the kind of guy you'd want to have a beer with, you know, at any time. And the kind of guy that your dad would want to have a beer with, or even your boyfriend would want to have a beer with, you know, like there was just nothing weird. It was just such great energy. And man, the loss of him, I just don't think we can quantify it. He was so talented and just such a great human being. And that photo of him, oof, it's a, it's a doozy. It's a good one. And that package that his photo is part of, you know, it, it sounds silly, but every everyone has their favorite things. But I remember at the time when I was on the show and sort of starting to experience all of the things that, all the merch, all the stuff that came out of the show as, you know, sort of secondary properties. And I was, I loved it all, but I wasn't jealous about anything except one single thing. I'm a reader. I love to read. I love libraries. And when I found out that Lucy and Renee had their own bookmarks and were part of the, you know, advertising libraries, I was like, how do I get in on that? Like, that was the only thing that I was like, I want in. So, you know, it was, it had already happened. It was long past at that point, but I just remember absolutely loving it. And the fact that those have come back into my life through the charity raffle was utterly delightful and only this much painful. (laughs) 